Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 3 Focused PvP. Today we are messing around with the Gargoyle Flame Spear and the Executioner's Greatsword. Both pretty good weapons, both pretty decent in the way of attack rating. Can't really complain overall. This one is split damage, but it's a spear and that's still a lot of damage on a spear. And this one is just pretty cool. It's got the stomp skill, goes with a spinning slash if you follow it up. Overall, it's pretty nice. So, we'll go for it. We'll make an attempt, see how well it goes. Hello, Jeps something or other. Dude, how much stamina do you have? My god. Dude, stamina management, have some for... Wow. Wow. Unnecessary rolling out of 10. My god. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I feel like he rolled 10 times minimum before he did his two attacks. And those attacks, you know, it's from a katana, so they're not th that draining on stamina, but my god. Have some control, man. <laughs> wow. So yeah, the Executioner's Greatsword. It's actually pretty cool, the attention to detail they have on this thing. It's got some runes on the side, a little bit of writing on there. Which is overall pretty spiffy. Especially if you know the history of this design for a sword. The Executioner's Greatsword is literally based on an Executioner's Greatsword. Like, literally, that's where they got the design from. The only thing that they messed up is that even though this was a sword meant for two-handed use, I've actually never seen that attack from that weapon. I'm probably going to lose this fight. Especially if that happens more often. Going for a parry, I see. As I said, you can, in fact, do that. Let's get some stamina. I missed. Oh, he got me. Death. Damn. Damn. That is a death I feel like I didn't deserve. Just because I missed my firebomb on it. Just because of that. Ugh. <sighs> I hate when people use that buff. I really honestly do. I mean, yeah, it's completely fair, and yes, it doesn't require much faith to do, and I technically could do it if I felt like doing it. But it's just not necessary. It's a duel. It's a duel. Why do you need to... Why do you feel the need to use that sort of thing in a duel? I, I don't get that. I mean... Clearly he won. Clearly I was outplayed. And, yes, he wasn't overly spammy with that weapon. In fact, he actually did attacks from that thing I've never seen anyone else use, so I appreciate that. It was a good fight. But having him win only because he had that buff on... You know... And when I say only, I mean, it's not only because of that. But, I mean, meh. That's, that's a big factor in that. So, like I was saying about this weapon, it's literally based off an Executioner's Greatsword. The only thing they got wrong is the fact that its length actually should end where the blade ends on it. It's a weapon that was meant for decapitation, but... That's gonna get me a few times. 
Dude, I'm out of your range. By a long distance. I do like your fashion, though. Even though you are wearing a dress, it does look good. It suits you. Brings out the color in your eyes, as they say. <laughs> anyway, um... A traditional executioner's greatsword, based on my minuscule knowledge of the subject, is supposed to have a hilt, handle, at whatever, for two-handing, because its primary purpose is decapitation, so you need to get some extra power behind it, but they typically had the length of a one-handed sword, so that's a tad bit too long. It would end more in line with where the blade ends on the weapon. They were also typically etched or had some form of writing on them, whether it was runes or pictures. So, overall attention to detail on this weapon. From soft, I'd give them a 9 out of 10. The only thing they got wrong was the length, and that's to make it a great sword. That said, I don't know why they didn't continue the blade all the way up, but hey. Most people won't judge. friend. One that I don't have to bait out so hard. No! The ting drained my stamina and it made it too low. No! Ugh! Ugh! Why? Why did it have to drain it so much? And it took a long time to recover, too. Like, I was literally just standing there pressing the button, and... Ugh. That's disappointing. That is a really disappointing death. Because I got the parry, I was there. And the ting drained more stamina on it, so I couldn't get the repost. Ugh. <laughs> this is why I need to get to my max level, my fully leveled state. Need the endurance. I mean, yeah, I still actually don't have the Ring of Favor and Protection. I could technically go get that and use up another slot. Because, I mean, I honestly don't need this thing. Because it really doesn't do too much good for me, because I get hit way too often anyway. So, realistically, I should go do that. It's just, I don't feel like dealing with those dogs on this build. They're just kind of a pain. I don't like them. We don't get along. That's That's basically the gist of it. Those dogs and I, uh, we do not get along in any way. Profane greatsword, I see. Thank you, tracking out of ten. That was really cool of you. Lots of stamina on you. Bang. The parry on that looked really weird. It threw me off. I thought for whatever reason that I didn't get the parry and that the weapon that he had in his offhand, that rapier, might have, for whatever reason, had a horizontal slash when it was in its left hand, when it was in his left hand. I don't know why I thought that would be the case. I also don't know why the summon situation is still going on. The summoning fog is... okay. That was strange. And the game has this brief hiccup where I'm summoning someone. Or when they come into the world. Like, that's that's been happening the past few days. I don't know why. I don't know what's causing that. Nothing's changed on my recording settings. Nothing's changed on my game settings. So something is just funky and it froze again. 
just briefly, you could see the fog, the fog wall just pause for a split second as he was coming in right before his name popped in. Just the establishment of that connection makes it go just like ting. Not ting, but like pop. Or pause. Or something. I really don't know the right way to describe it. He is coming down. There we are. Hello, friend. Ooh, if he had done the follow-up to it, if he'd pressed R2 again during that. Should've just gone for a running jump. Oop, that's got me. My tracking was bad, he'd strafe just off to the side, and that was the end of things. Didn't have the right angle on that jump attack. Bit of a shame. Good fight, though, nonetheless. He would have had me earlier, like I said, if he had actually continued his charge. I guess he doesn't realize that that's a thing. Maybe he does. Maybe he thought he would have had me. But it's always a safe bet to continue the charge, just in case. Maybe he didn't have the stamina for it. That could possibly be the situation. Yeah, for those who don't know, for a weapon that has the charge ability, including the Astora Greatsword, the uh, Halberd, any spear, so on and so forth, if you actually go to the description of them, it actually says it. Um, use strong attack while charging to extend the length of the charge. So, that's what I mean by continuing his charge. If he had pressed R2 while he was going for it, then it would have gone a longer distance and it would have poked me. Hard. And it would have hurt. Right in the general stomach region. Just a nice, sharp, stabbing pain in the gut. <clears throat> Your legs are invisible. Please don't be a hacker. Excuse you, but I should have had the parry on that third one. Are you really gonna do this? Yeah, I, I really don't care. Katana spam. At the end of the day, katana spam, katana spam, katana spam. Still, I'm very shocked that the third one didn't come off, because I was pressing for it, and that's typically a guaranteed thing. The third swing of katanas, rapiers, and longswords is usually a guaranteed parry. Like, 95% of the time. That's actually the first time I've failed to get it, if I'm recalling correctly. So, that was odd. That was quite odd. Maybe there was a tad bit of lag on that that I couldn't really tell. That didn't seem like it was, but... That's usually, like I said, a guaranteed thing. Like, every time. So, oh well? But, it did confuse me. And then what's my offhand? Ah yes, the spear! The pokey pokey! We'll use that next fight. I want to get a kill with the stomp into, st stomp into the R2 with the skill execution style. And you're using a long sword. Straight sword of some kind or another. Come on down, friend. Okay, I won't go for a running attack. That's that's perfectly fine. I mean, who would have had the parry timing on that anyway? Hello, R1s. The hello not parrying. Well, that's annoying. My controller just decided not to listen to me, I guess. I mean, I probably would have lost anyway, even if it had, 
because he would have had the parry timing for the running attack most likely, and then my controller just decided I didn't want to parry. So, meh? Still a bit of an annoyance, because I literally just wasted an ember on that. But, oh well. FPS Noodle. <laughs> that was an interesting name. Some people have very interesting names for their characters. Because I've got it set to see character names, if I'm not mistaken, as opposed to uh, player names. That's it, I actually don't know where that setting is anymore. Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter all that much. Ah, I like my armor choice. The only thing I don't like is seeing my weird hollow elbows. They're not even hollow, they're just... They look weird. Well, at least I'm using a long weapon against his long weapon, and I feel better about that. Hello, damage, my old friend. No, you're not gonna come in on me? Stamina. And it froze again. Like, that's been happening so often. No? That was worth the trade. I'm a little upset that my, uh, Perry after his running attack didn't really work out. Oh well. We won, that's what matters. And I wish that this weapon, the skill, the charge, the kindled charge, it went a little bit farther in terms of its distance. Like, it's easy to roll away from the charge skill as is, and because of that, uh, that's why the other weapons that have the option to extend its reach, extend the charge, I find so valuable and so reliable. Like, that's one of the things I really love about the halberd. It's, like, truly a fantastic thing. But, Kindle Charge, it's a little bit harder to land, simply due to that fact that... simply due to that fact that it's, you know... Oh, you're just gonna strafe around for a backstab, that's cool. Oh, I got dead angled. That's interesting that you can get dead angled from someone who's turtle poking by trying to stay- by just trying to strafe around them. I don't know if I'm- I'm a fan of that thought. I wish dead angles were not back, in all honesty. I really do. But, oh well. Come on. Anyone? Somebody? Tinker. Alright. Yeah, I don't like the fact that dead angles in this game have made a return. I liked that they were not a thing. They're a lot harder to do, don't get me wrong, but it still is a bit of an annoyance that that can happen again. Especially when someone is using a rapier and they can dead angle because you try and strafe around their side. That's bad. 
Like, that's, that's just bad. Because if you're on their side and they're facing forward and they dead angle you by poking forward while you're at a 90 degree angle to them and it hits you still, that means the hitbox is a little bit too wide or there was a tad bit too much latency in the fight. One of the two things. Actually, probably a combination of both. But, that said... Had I free aimed on that? And that's the issue with that attack. If it's range. Fourth trade. If it's range is not measured properly, I suppose you could say. If you don't have proper distancing and spacing and all that fun stuff that goes with it. Yes, you can hit with the AoE on it. But, you can also push them back and not hit with the spear and the AoE, which is the situation I just experienced with it. Yes, in a way, I'm happy that I landed it, because it does look really interesting, but it's not as good as it could have been. I am happy I landed a fully charged R2, and that was honestly surprisingly damaging. I don't believe it was a counter hit, either. So that's pretty cool. In fact, I don't know why I'm wearing this when I could, in fact, be in being where a Leo ring. Yes, being where a Leo ring. You mean what I know, I can English, you've heard it all before. One thing I de one thing that I don't actually know, that I actually don't know about the Leo ring is if that it will affect any fire or non-physical damage in this game. I would assume it's the way of Dark Souls 1 where it only affects the physical aspect of your weapon. That said, I don't know. Gotcha. So close with the free aim, and yet so far. Close, but not quite. Alright, and we are again... Whoops, I'll have to get a summon, actually. Come on, guys. There we are. And we are again at that point in the episode where I need to look for next episode's weapons. Butcher's knife, maybe? Um... Dancer swords, maybe? Possibly? I'm not overly, overly fond of them, in all honesty. I've tried them briefly. And Goddard swords are just too OP. Dark sword is too OP. Um. Hmm. It's a tough call. I'm trying to avoid weapons that I've showcased prior. So there's the issue I'm running into. We'll use the Great Scythe. And Claws. That's the plan. Oh, you're actually doing real dual wielding. Two different weapons. Props for that. Was that flash sweat? Gotta love those 360 degree parries. Gotta love the parry spam. <laughs> Revan. Darth Revan or Revan? Tough call. 
I know very little of uh, that section of Star Wars and whatnot. The Old Republic and all the good stuff that goes with it. I know a little bit, but not terribly much. Basically, I know that Revan was a badass. And that's my general knowledge on the topic. So, you know, I mean, I, I suppose that's good enough. I also know that if this is supposed to be a cosplay, it's very, very bad. But hey, I won't judge. There's no hyper armor on that charge, apparently. That's so disappointing. That is so disappointing. I never knew that. Aww. And he was in such a good position to get struck down by my explosion and jumping plunge thingamajig. That would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. Bit of a shame. Still, it's good that now we know it has, like, no hyper armor. I mean, yes, I traded with the Great Axe, to be perfectly fair, and he was using... I think that was the skill on the weapon at the time, if I'm remembering proper, but... Still. Duh. So sad. So sad. That's okay, though. We will get a kill with that, sooner or later. Hopefully during this episode. That would be, uh, that would be ideal for me. I do like the look of this weapon. I honestly would have expected it to be more of a lance. More of a, it would have been a pike class weapon, in my opinion. Judging by its length, I mean... It's actually longer than the Great Lance. And longer than the pike. So, I mean... Yeah. Why is this not a why is this not a pike class weapon? Like that's actually just making me wonder more and more. Like it's longer than them, it's got a shape like a uh, lance would have. Why is it not a lance? Also, why did they name them pike class weapons instead of lance class weapons? Because let's be honest now, that that's just that doesn't make sense. Like, you know, you mean what I know? You see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down, as they say? What are you using? Hi. Hello. So. Help me. Dixie. Are you whistling Dixie? You know what that actually just reminded me of when I said that? A movie I saw forever ago. Yeah! I told you we would get it! The outlawed Josie Wales. Whooped him again, eh, Josie? Feels good, man. Feels good, man. That win feels good, man. <laughs> I am happy we landed that. I liked the way he was attempting to fight, though, the dual whip style. Not necessarily terribly viable this time around, but unique. And I will give him credit for that. Feels good, man. A.
Feels good, man. Getting those parries. Whoop. Ah. Ouch. Close, but not quite with the AoE. Close, but not quite on the kill. I want another parry on you. You're smart rolling so often. No, you're not going to come in on me? He's playing more intelligently now. Worth it. <laughs> that was a good fight. I like that one a lot. Feels good, man. Feels good. I like the way this is ending. That's a good note to end on, for sure. Getting the jump thingamajig, almost getting him, getting a double KO at the end. That's great. That's just great. Can't get better than that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a real good time with this one. I really honestly did. So, uh, next time we will use something. I don't think we actually determined what I'll use. We'll use something. I'll figure it out. Either way, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one. And I will see you all next time. Great Scythe. Great Scythe and Claws. That's the ticket. All right. That's all. That's all I got now. I remembered. I'm living up to my name, guys. Living up to it. I only forgot for a short period of time. Just a, just a wee bit. But anyway, again, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.